Hello guys, Namaskar, Bonjour and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to answer the most asked question to me. How much can we earn in France and how much is the average part-time salary or full-time salary for Indians in France? Those who are new here, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Madhvi. I am from Gujarat, India. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Let's talk about the part-time salary and the part-time hours we can work. Now, you can work as part-time when you are a student. Detail mein is video ke liye, please follow the, uh, you know, videos in this link and in the description so that you know more about APS and part-time jobs. If you came in Paris in 2023, then it's actually a very good time to be here because the salaries, the part-time salary, the average hourly rate, the uh, SMIC, the average uh, full-time salary has been increased. The hourly rate has been increased from 10 point, I think, 47 to 12.47. Second, uh, part-time job, you can only work 20 to 25 hours and which can give you around 850 or 900 euros in a month you might have noticed that the navigo which is the transport pass the price has increased as well it was 75.20 cent now it is 84 euros 10 cent so if you are a student and if you are above 26 years of age it can be a little difficult as well because it's almost 100 euro for your transport and if you are getting 900 euros in uh, monthly as salary then you know you have to keep a balance please be aware do not try to work two three places when you are on a student visa don't work for more than 25 hours maximum stay on the safe side stay legally work legally don't earn anything in cash now let's talk about full-time job that is once you have a job search visa you can do two types of job that is cdd which is a fixed term contract and you have a cdi which is indefinite term of contract mostly for us or for any other international student if they want to stay in france and they want to change their status from student to salary we all need a cdi job now the second point is a full-time cdd and a full-time cdi can give you same salary in order to change the status we need the salary a bit more than the average french people or the average local people who are already here the reason i'm emphasizing on this point is you might feel or you might see difference in opinion when you talk about the same topic with your you know french colleagues or french friends or anyone because they don't understand the concept of Ah, why you should have been paid more than me we are doing the same job let's move on so the average salary for a full-time cdd is balls 1500 euros but 23 is a year of more expense more income more expense more income in this year the minimum full-time cdd job will get 1700 euros and that is called smic s m i c h this is the basic pay anyone working in france full-time role will get this payment even if you are a foreigner if you have a cdd and a full-time you will get this salary if you are a french or if you are an european uh, citizen you will get full-time cdd fresher job salary scale this is what it is but it is not compulsory for any employer to just give the basic smic to their employees they can give it more you know depends on your negotiation skills and depend on which city you are in if you are in paris definitely you will get more salary than bordeaux or toulouse or lyon or nice but i i believe paris is the metro city and it gives you more job opportunities and it gives you more salary as well moving forward the salary depending on the positions let's say you are a cashier Let's say you are a receptionist. All these entry level jobs, if you are hired on a full time CDD or CDI role as well, you will get the basic average salary, which is around 1700. Plus, if they give you the reimbursement for the transport pass, then it should be awesome. 
So if you calculate, you get around 21, 20 to 23,000 euros for the fresher job. Little more higher level, you get 30 to 40,000 euros per year annually. And also, as I said, it depends which city you are located. Or sometimes it also depends on your designation or your role. Again, it comes on your negotiation skill. And lastly, the average salary, if you have already an experience from India or your country, you can get more than 50,000 euros in Paris city. This is the um, scale of salary, which I think is quite decent according to the expenses and lifestyle in Paris. Engineer can earn between 25 to 35 or 30k. A managerial level person can earn from 50 to 60 or 65k. Whenever you come to France, especially for all the Indian students who want to go and explore the world and see France and come to France and study in France, oh wow, because Paris is a beautiful city. Yes, darling, but it is expensive place to stay. So, do your research for any school you want to go. Do not depend on no consultants, no YouTuber. Yes, you can take certain topics from everyone, see it, compare your research and voila, go for it. And you know, learn on each and every stage of life. That's all like this. Isn't it so? This was the video for today and like, share, subscribe, comment below. Yes, you can DM on Instagram and not anywhere else. Please. And see you in the next one. Bye.